We're here today to talk about flash dryer options as you get started in the screen printing industry. And we realize that as you start, a flash dryer can be an integral part of your business because not only flashes, but you can also use it to do a full complete cure on your shirt. Now right here I have two flash dryers sitting in front of me. These are both entry level flash dryers in the screen printing market. Right here we have a low cost manufactured unit with a coil element. Right here we have a little bit low, a low cost but high quality manufacturing unit. This is a made in the USA unit. This is a made outside the country unit. Uh, this unit is made by BBC Industries and particularly has what's called an infrared heating element. Now, coil units are both made in and out of the US and come in for a little bit lower price. We realize that as you start screen printing and especially low, operating on a lower starter budget, price is definitely a concern and your first flash dryer, you might look to get the lowest cost flash dryer available in the market. So let's take a look at that low cost flash dryer and what you're actually paying for. Your lower cost option is the coil unit. Now a coil unit is lower cost because A, made out of the country, some of them are made out of the country, the ones that are made in the country, uh, much less sturdy, uh, easier to put together, and the most expensive part of the flash dryer is a coil element. Now these coil oven units are actually meant for ovens. They're infrared heat, but a very low cost coil infrared unit. Now, what a coiling unit does, it's obviously cheaper because it's less complex to put together. And it provides heat radiating out of the coil. The way infrared heat is actually created is by resistance within the coil, and the electrical resistance creates friction, which creates heat. This heat is emitted from the coil of the heating element. Now, picture this unit red hot. It's gonna be radiating heat from here, 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 here. Now this area is gonna radiate, radiate much more heat than this area. This area is gonna be radiating much more heat than this area. These areas aren't gonna be radiating much heat at all. So you have heat, but it's not very consistent heat. Now what's important when you're carrying a shirt, especially if you're carrying a little bit larger design? It's consistent heat. What happens when you don't cure a shirt effectively all the way across the shirt? If ink doesn't cure, it washes out. Ink very, very rarely is bad. Most of the time, the reason it washes out of a shirt is because it's not consistently cured. How many shirts are you gonna be printing and curing with your flash dryer? Is it worth saving a couple percent on a flash dryer by not knowing that you're getting a consistent cure? Now let's look at the other side of the fence. We have an infrared heating element. The way it produces heat is the same concept. Electrical friction, which creates resistance, that creates heat. But the heating elements are here, these coils are much closer together and they're tightly packed and baked within this fiberglass heating element. This is an infrared panel. This is a coil unit. So take this, magnify it hundreds of times, and bake it within a heating element that actually more evenly distributes that heat throughout the entire shirt. That's gonna give you a more consistent cure. A more consistent cure is gonna give you a more consistent product for your customer. Now we'll do a final cure using both styles of flash dryers. The first, we'll do a white ink on a black shirt, which is actually more difficult ink to cure because the white ink actually reflects away the heat of the flash dryer. So let's rotate our printing palette underneath the flash dryer. And we should get a consistent heat using this high quality infrared heat element and laser temp gun. And look at that. Within a couple seconds, we're within five degrees all the way across the surface of the ink. Our end result is a shirt that is completely cured evenly from top to bottom and we can prove that once again by doing a stretch test on the white ink. Now we'll rotate our coil flash dryer over a different garment. This is a light garment which should actually be fairly easy to cure. Now what can also happen with this coil flash dryer is during the curing process because those coils emit concentrated heat sources, we can actually scorch the garment in certain areas following the coil. So we're gonna slightly overcure this garment and actually show you what happens. We've let the shirt cure for about 35, 40 seconds. Now let's see the results. Let's take a look at our final cure. Now keep in mind this is a drastic example, but as you can see, the shirt was overcured and we have some scorching marks right in the coil element area. So, why mess with quality and the consistency of your shirt to save a couple bucks? Think about doing a run of 100 shirts and having them all wash out. How much is that going to cost you versus how much are you going to save on a lower cost, lower quality flash dryer? So when you're looking to add a flash dryer to your business, sure you can save a few bucks by getting a lower cost coil flash dryer. However, the quality of your product equals your reputation in business. So you can either buy it nice or you can buy it twice and hope it works. But why do that 
where you can invest in a quality piece of equipment that can ensure the quality of your product and a good reputation for your business.